Okay, I'm gonna do the warm, cool interchange of light value first over this, and now I'll just, oh, that's a little darker than light, isn't it? But it's gonna define things here for me. I can, wow. Do I need my glasses or yeah, am, no, I, am I going? Help a little bit. You can't see it, you do. Ah, now I see it. Now the temptation is to uh, paint the stuff, so paint this all the way around it. I'm just going to leave some pieces of light there for those little buds. Notice the bead coming down. I need to provide a pathway for that to go on down, and I'm going to just see. I'm going to go into the. You better hurry. Yeah. And I want some of this in shadow. I believe that was, yeah, it was. Oh yeah, I see my plan. I'm going to use different colors for this than what's up there, if that's okay with everybody. I'm gonna do it anyway, even if it isn't okay. This, carrying that down through there will, there may be a little shadow there that I, but that's all. Okay, and then I'm, while I'm at it, I'm going to soften the edge on some of that shadow. Okay, and this is, this was another flower over there, so I'll bring some color into that. And I'll have to redraw that. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. And it doesn't matter, I've got this little dried edge there, but I'm planning on some darks there. So I'm not really worried about that. These are the light colors, so I mean, when I get into this, I want to switch to a, the floral color. I'm going to drop some of that some other places. If I painted all around the flowers, then I'd have a hard edge around all of them and I'd have that little sticky problem to deal with. So if I avoid doing that and hit <coughs> instead, answer the... <laughs> vary it a little so it's not all Let's see what was that was oh, all that was in shadow except for I wanted the lightest lights to be up there now I'll carry this on down and I'll let those touch so they'll drain out. If you're working more flat, that's not a, a big issue. That's something else. I've never seen Sounds anybody get like watercolors on an easel. You haven't? No. Oh, most people do. I don't do that all the time. Kind of crazy. No, Charles Reed paints like this all the time. Mm -hmm. 
I have no idea what I, oh, I think I knew Don Hunter was playing there. So that's all. There, now I have a wash over everything, leaving a few more whites than I intended, but that's okay. I, uh, well, let's see, I'm not, it's not completely okay. I wanted to get rid of some of that in there. There we go. That's far enough I could, uh, right up there, oh no, that's not the color I want. I wanted that nice underneath here. And uh, you know what? If I stick a little piece of that color out in here some places, it'll just suggest them in the background. I'll, I won't have to even do anything with them, just leave that red around then it's not they're not you know I'll have these in definition and that's just uh, like a bit of one that you see between the leaves and stuff okay there's a light wash over everything it's not all the way around every flower it's just I've just left the whites the white shapes not the flowers the white shapes which there are quite a few on there, especially up there at the top. Notice this one down here is mostly in shadow with a little light on the lip. That, that was good. I like that and hit that one stronger. I don't like that line I left there, but I can lift that out and with a sponge and not have it quite so strong. You know, this, I was wanting a connection there, but I think that was just for tactical reasons to allow the paint to run down and not puddle there. And it doesn't lift out very well, does it? No, no. It's all right. Uh, I'll take care of it. It's a minor problem. All right. Okay. Give it a whirl. We'll take this through three steps. The light, the middle.